I need this job. You know, it's my livelihood, it's my passion. I would be lost without it. And my husband would be out of work too if we did not have Turfway Park. It's very important to our family. Now, what would you tell legislators that think that if they, uh, historical horse racing is just making some rich people richer, what would yes, you say? No, I say no, it's keeping me in a job, it's keeping my husband in a job, people I work with every day, we work seven days a week, this is more than a job, it's, it's everything. I mean, my sister, me and her work here, rubbing horses together, you know, so it's not just me, it's my husband, it's my sister, and even her husband works on the front side, and so it's like, it's given everyone a job. I mean, I don't, I just, we'd be lost without it. Okay. Just think of the hay and straw people, the feed man. There's so much involved in horse racing. It ain't just the big guys. It's, it just goes so much. I mean, feeding these animals, that gives that person a job. You know, keeping care of these racehorses. Those people have a job. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of, you know. So you've been here when Turfway was doing well, and then when yes. it's been, was on the skids for a lot of years right. there, and then now it looks like it, the last couple of years, it started to make a Pick comeback. Pick up again, right. I, I mean, are you surprised that we're where we're at, that you haven't even think about um, yeah. the track staying in existence? Is that surprising? Yeah, it just, well, it makes me sad, you know. There's other stuff that's going on. You shouldn't have to worry about this place not staying. I mean, it's lasted how many years? And, you know, I just, it's scary. It really is scary.